We're here with our mascot, the Story Dude. So please, like the video, subscribe to Story Dude, and let's get into the stories. What's your first move if Trump gets re-elected in 2024? Make a post somewhere on the internet saying, not my president, and when someone criticizes me I, I tell them that I am technically right since I'm not from the US. Drink a beer, but to be fair, that's my first move when anyone gets elected. Go to work like I do daily. Holy shit. Dot. Dot dot. We actually made it to 2024? Go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for this all to blow over. IDC, my country has its own problems. What show will you never get tired of rewatching? Avatar The Last Airbender. Parks and Rec for sure. Star Trek. The Next Generation. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Malcolm in the Middle. Banda Brothers. Redditors who had a gun pointed at you. How are you still alive? I put it down before I pulled the trigger. Here's to being here three years later. My vehicle fit the suspect description, but I didn't. The person was playing around and thought the gun was unloaded. He pointed it at my head and was about to pull the trigger when my husband, who had been raised to learn that you never, ever point a gun at anyone grabbed it away from him. It turned out the gun was loaded. The person was an alcoholic and forgot that he had loaded the gun last time he got drunk. Years ago, first real job I was in training as a forest ranger and came upon a large group of men night hunting standing by several dead deer. All were armed and as I exited the vehicle many of the guns were pointed in my direction. In training I was not armed and as they realized it guns were lowered. I was alone, unarmed, outnumbered and should have been writing summonses but I was just glad to leave. Women of Reddit. What is the creepiest way that a stranger has tried to come onto you? I was alone at the beach and had fallen asleep on my oversized beach towel after surfing all day. I woke up to a smiling guy laying right next to me on my own towel asking if I had a nice nap. Guy who I served in a bar I worked at when I was 18. He told me he was going to walk behind that bar and finger you until you fucking come, he was in his 50s. He did not finger me, as I threw him out and barred him. Guy who showed me what our future kids would look like via some face app. Once a man attempted to push me down the stairs at the library then pull me back up by my shoulders. When I turned around he smiled and said, I think you owe me a feel? I was 12-14 at the time he was probably in his 40s. He even made the boob grabbing gesture with his hands it was weird and gross. Before I met my husband, there was a guy the first knew who liked to break into my car and leave me gifts. Creepy AF.